My name is Antonia Agostin and I'll be presenting on the Junior Detective Training Program. This program is a multi-component intervention that targets emotional understanding and social skills, such as engaging in positive interactions with others, responding appropriately to others' behavior, controlling feelings of anxiety and anger, and initiating and maintaining conversations. This eight-week program consists of four components a computer game, small group sessions, parent training, and teacher handouts, and also provides explicit instruction on facial expression, body language recognition, emotion identification, and emotion regulation skills. The students that would best benefit from this program are those diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. Asperger's syndrome is a developmental disorder under the umbrella of autism spectrum disorder and is characterized by a deficit in social skills. This specific program is geared towards students between the ages of 7 and 11. The participants of the game are pretending to be the main character of the game, the junior detective, who specializes in decoding suspects' thoughts and feelings. This computer game is comprised of three levels. In level 1, the detective decodes suspects' feelings based on their facial expressions, vocal tone, and body language, and they also determine how they're feeling themselves. In this level, participants are taught how to recognize complex emotions. In level two, the detective determines how suspects are feelings, feeling in different situations, depending on their nonverbal cues and environmental cues. Lastly, in level three, the detective completes a variety of social situation missions, such as dealing with bullying and playing with others. Small groups are conducted to generalize the students' knowledge and skills gained from the computer game. They are also used to teach additional social skills and problem-solving skills. There are two therapists for every small group, which is comprised of three students. Parent training facilitates parent understanding of social skills and teaches them how to support social skill development in the home environment. The sessions also parallel the strategies and techniques taught in the students' small groups. Teacher handouts are used in collaboration with the parents to encourage the generalization of social skills in the school environment. All the components required for the program are accessible in school, which makes this intervention very easy to implement. The classroom also provides the program participants with peers to practice their emerging social skills with especially same-age peers they will be in contact with every single day. This program can be incorporated at any time during the school year. However, the beginning of the school year is recommended so that participants have time to practice their emerging social skills. Lastly, this program requires the collaboration of students, parents, and teachers, and all these components can be brought together within the classroom. Some strengths of this program include Utilizing computers, which are of interest and very motivating for students with Asperger syndrome. According to Beaumont and Sofronoff, utilizing computers in autism-focused interventions is important because they capitalize on a common special interest, allow for self-paced learning, and provide immediate feedback. The program also comes with an instructor's manual, which makes it easier for teachers to implement and the short duration of the program and small group component makes it very cost effective. Limitations of the program include generalizing social skills and knowledge to real life social interactions, which may be quite challenging for the participants. Also, methods used to collect progress information during the intervention are parent and teacher reports, which could potentially be biased without any direct observations or recordings of the student's social interactions before and after the intervention. In addition, the multiple, multiple components of the program make it difficult to determine which factor is responsible for any improvements made in social skills. And lastly, the program recommends two therapists for each small group of three students. The large amount of labor required is difficult for most schools provi to provide especially since a lot of schools are quite short-staffed. In a study conducted by Beaumont and Sofronoff, the participants in the program demonstrated improved social skills at the end of the eight weeks. 
Gains were made in emotion regulation strategies for, so for story characters. However, unfortunately, no improvements were made on facial expression and body language recognition. Lastly, improvements made in emotion regulation strategies were, ma were maintained at the five-month post-test. Here are my references for this assignment.